Hey, Boss Man Mike here with you today on a beautiful Monday. Today, I wanted to share a little uh, technique to help you release some of those blockages within your subconscious mind, to help you release some of those negative thoughts, patterns, behaviors, and views that we have, you know, within ourselves. Because, you know, as we're working, as we're trying to build ourselves up, as we're trying to, you know, work on our crafts, our natural gifts, abilities, and talents, if we have those subconscious blockages within our mind, it's going to hold us back from being our best selves. It's going to hold us back from believing that we deserve a better life. It's going to hold us back from, you know, believing that we're creating own, our own reality. And so with all those blockages circulating within, our, within the back of our mind each and every day, we don't really like think about those thoughts. We don't really you know, take into consideration, like, how do we view ourselves? How do we see ourselves? What thoughts, um, patterns, behaviors, and habits that, you, that we built up over the years that are really holding us back from, you know, really putting in the work, putting in the time, the action, the effort to better ourselves, to love and appreciate ourselves. And, you know, I've really been feeling like it'd be a good time to share my, techni my techniques with you all to help you clear those blockages within your subconscious mind to help you release all those negative thoughts, habits, behaviors from your life so that you can be able to better yourself, so that you can truly focus on putting in the effort, the action, the time, truly seeing yourself as a deserving, you know, person to be your own boss, to create your own reality, you know, to really truly live your life because you have to, you have to have belief within your mind. You have to have faith within your mind that you know, you deserve greatness. You deserve to be great. You have natural gifts, abilities, and talents within yourself. You can't, you know, go through our life having these negative thoughts and patterns and behaviors, you know, holding you back from being your best self, from living your, from living your best life. So I want to get straight into it. So I want you all to get like a pencil or pen or like a, um, yeah, whatever, like a pencil or pen, whatever, and then a piece of paper. And I really want you all to sit down and think about you know, all those negative thoughts, how you view yourself, how do you see yourself, what do you believe about yourself, you know, all those negative thoughts, habits, behaviors, patterns that you believe that is really holding you back from living your best life. I want you to write all of that stuff down on a piece of paper. It don't matter how long it is. It don't matter how much time, you know, it takes you to think about all of that stuff, but I'm sure there's a lot of, you know, stuff to think about whenever it comes to, you know, how do you view yourself, how do you live your life? How do you, what, what habits and behaviors have you built up over the past few years that's really holding you back from, you know, living your best life? And, you know, take, take, a, take a minute or so, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and just really think about all those negative thought forms, patterns, behaviors, and, you know, how you view yourself. Because with subconscious blockages, with all that stuff within the back of our mind, it's, 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 it's going to block us from attracting what we really want within our lives. It's going to block us from attracting wealth. It's going to block us from attracting abundance, prosperity, having that mindset that, you know, we're our own boss. We're creating our own reality. You know, we deserve a, a better life and we are better in ourselves. And once these, sub, once these blockages within the subconscious mind are cleared out, then you're going to be able to focus. You're going to have more clarity. You're going to be able to think, you know, more highly of yourself. You're going to appreciate yourself more. You're going to have more confidence in your natural gifts, abilities, and talents within yourself. And you're going to see that, you know, all those, all those thoughts, all those patterns, all those behaviors, all those cycles of doing the same stuff over and over again, having the same thoughts, you know, surrounding yourself with the same people that don't really you know, care about you or don't really like uplift you and motivate you. Once you clear all of that stuff out of your life, once you release all those negative thoughts and views about yourself, then you're going to really be able to focus on bettering yourself, focus on bettering your natural gifts, abilities and talents. You know, it does take some time. It's not going to be able to, you know, happen overnight because it's like a constant. You got to constantly work on yourself. You got to constantly build up yourself. You got to constantly clear out those those negative forms, habits, behaviors, and blockages day by day, you know, week, week by week, however long it takes you to finally, you know, feel like you have all this weight off your shoulders that, you know, you're supposed to be somebody that you're not or like you're, you're trying to live up to other people's expectations and stuff. In order to be able to really help yourself, in order to really be able to help others, you got to, you know, you got to clear out those blockages. You really got to 
you know, dig deep within yourself and dig deep within your subconscious mind and think about what's holding me back. How am I holding myself back? You know, why haven't I, why haven't I been able to accomplish what I want to accomplish? Why haven't I been, why haven't I been able to focus? It's because those blockages, it's all there. Once you clear those blockages out, I guarantee you, you're going to see a, a, a shift in your energy, a shift in your your emotions, a shift in your life, more opportunities will come to you. You will have that abundance mindset. You will have that prosperity, that wealth mindset. And you will know, you, you have more gratitude and appreciation and love for yourself because you view yourself highly. And so once you clear all those blockages out of your subconscious mind, then you can begin to continue to work on yourself. You can, be, you can begin to you know, view yourself as someone that deserves greatness view yourself as someone that deserves riches wealth abundance prosperity you know fortune within your life you can view yourself as somebody that deserves to be loved and appreciated you know and it's, it's just gonna take some time but i guarantee you though if you really put in that work if you dig deep within yourself and clear those mental blockages out of your mind you're gonna be a whole new person and you're gonna see the changes you're gonna realize like wow you know i've really been holding myself back all this time all these habits all these patterns all these you know thoughts and views about myself have been holding me back from living my best life and once you clear all that stuff out once you release all of that stuff you know it's only up from there because you you starting from the beginning you got to build yourself up you got to continue to work on yourself you got to continue to understand your value you got to continue to love and appreciate yourself if you're not loving yourself if you're not appreciating yourself you're not going to have confidence in your natural gifts abilities and talents and whenever it comes time to you know take hold of those opportunities that come to you within your life you really got to be prepared if you have those blockages within your mind then you know you're not going to take those opportunities those opportunities won't come to you or you're going to miss those opportunities but if you really work on yourself if you really develop your mind and your thoughts and your views about yourself then you're going to realize like it's all been in front of me it's all been within me this whole time and it's just it's just going to be crazy like you're going to be your own boss you're going to be your own entrepreneur you're going to be able to have the motivation the confidence within your natural gifts abilities and talents to be to continuously improve your actions continuously work on yourself and continue to love yourself appreciate yourself and you know really have gratitude for your life really have gratitude and understand of who you are and you know it's it's, it's so much stuff to go into but i really want y'all to um you know utilize my technique and you know write in the comments like how does that help you? How how has this technique helped you be to clear those blockages, those patterns, those behaviors? How does how does my techniques help you really dig deep within yourself and realize like, you know, what's going on inside of me? Why do I feel this way about myself? Why do I view why do I have these views about myself? And I really want this technique to be to help y'all, you know, clear all of that stuff out, release all those negative thought forms, behave habits behaviors and patterns from out of your mind so that you know you can better yourself you can love and appreciate yourself you can understand yourself more you have mental clarity you have confidence within yourself you'll be able to you know work on your goals you'll be able to make those goals happen and you know you'll you'll really have a better life that's all it takes it just takes time to go within yourself to truly understand yourself and understand how do you view yourself you know, there's 360 degrees in the angle. Which which angle are you looking at within yourself? Which which way are you looking at within yourself? Are you going to see yourself as a loser or are you going to see yourself as a boss?